I want to start by acknowledging the work of Claire McLaughlin, who is from the Australian Government Department of Industry, Innovation, Science, Research and Tertiary Education, which is a long name and we're now allowed to call it the Department of Innovation. Claire was very much involved and drove the Australian Government interest, commitment and implementation of the RDA and unfortunately she couldn't be here today and she does send her apologies. This morning we heard about the social and technical aspects of data gathering. I'm going to add another dimension now and that's channeling. I don't know how you measure channeling but uh, this is the uh, story of how Australia came to this point through the eyes of Claire, Claire McLaughlin. So the Australian Government is and has been interested in the benefits of dissemination of research for a fair while. And from 2004, we funded a series of research projects to develop and establish digital repositories in universities focused on capturing research publications. Much of this work was actually led by a few progressive university librarians who could see the potential benefits of getting their research online and others who'd been exploring these things about putting theses online and other documents, pre-publication versions of journal articles available in institutional repositories. And as part of the ongoing research evaluation process, now it's called in Australia the Excellence in Research for Australia initiative, funding was provided for every university to implement an institutional repository for their publications and other research outputs. Australia was also helped by its involvement in the Creative Commons the government funded work on legal protocols for copyright in the digital age and legal frameworks for research and research collaboration to help researchers and their institutions make good choices about licenses, access and how to gain most from disseminating their research. And from 2006, Australia's National Collaborative Research Infrastructure Strategy, NCRIS, funded national infrastructure across a range of capability areas many of them mentioned this morning, marine observing, genomics, biodiversity and geoscience. So we learned pretty quickly that research is in fact all about data and that making data available, shareable, accessible and reusable is the key to research effectiveness and collaboration. And in addition to the critical capability investments, we also established, the government established, the Australian National Data Service, ANS, to be a voice for data and to work in data management policy, metadata and quality. And of course you all know Ross Wilkinson, who is the eminent expert in this and who leads this um, particular service. This investment in data is part of a wider commitment to what we have termed e-research infrastructure and successive Australian governments have taken the view that advanced research needs advanced tools in computing, networks, tools and data. But parallel to that, we've also been exploring ideas around open government and public access to government information, and we see these two strands as intertwined. The data that governments collect for their own purposes are inputs to research. The data generated from research should inform government and other decision making. So having established repositories and more recently funding agency policies to require open access to publications, digital thesis and pre-publications online, agreements around data sharing in a range of key disciplines and support for universities and government research agencies to get their data in order, Australia thought it was time to work with other like-minded organisations to take data sharing global. And that's why we're here and that's why we're in the RDA. It's the natural extension of so many things we've been doing and funding in the last few years. So we, and I'm sure Claire, look forward to much data exchange and ongoing research collaboration as a result with you. And Claire will no doubt be very interested in what happens over the next couple of days. Thank you.